Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today I'm here at Disney's Coronado Springs and we're gonna check out some new offerings for food, for drinks, and just some general fun. Desserts, yeah, we're gonna check out some desserts. Um, we're gonna check out some new beer selections that they have here, check out some new pasta selections, and some new gluten-free desserts, and just the regular good old sugary, gooey, awesome desserts. I'm actually here with uh, my buddy Michael from Theme Park Brothers, and we're gonna check everything out. Uh, he's more of a beer connoisseur maybe than I am. I don't drink beer at all, so it's gonna be fun just to experience some different beers. Um, so let's go and uh, we'll have some fun doing this. Reef Donkey has me intrigued. Yeah, the Reef Donkey it's, sounds pretty good. So what are these, I can't even read half these, Floridian? All right, so that's, that's Floridian from Funky Buddha uh, out of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Reef Donkey is from Tampa Bay Brewing Company, uh, based out of Ybor City and down in Tampa. Um, this is the Kungaloo Spice Excursion Ale. Uh, it's Concrete Beach Brewing out of Miami. Um, and then Rick's Red is actually made for us by uh, Anheuser-Busch. Oh, cool. And then, you think I can get them to make a beer for me? Yeah, seriously. I mean, we could try. Why not? We need our own theme beers. Exactly. It's all about the you. It's a light IPA from Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete. Which one was this again? Oh, this is a Legion Avatar Jasmine IPA okay. from uh, Seattle. Yeah. And then oh. this is uh, Floating Doctor, so light IPA from Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete. Very cool. Okay. Did you a good. Uh... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at this video thing. Which one yeah. was this? The uh, spiced so excursion. It's, it's a Kungaloo spiced excursion deal. It's a. It's an amber ale from uh, Country Creek Brewing. Um, kind of as their their homage and nod to the Adventures Club. Um, it's got uh, a, 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 an amber ale brewed with a lot of uh, you know chai spices and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's their their nod to the the. Uh, explorers and adventures that came through the story behind the adventures club and the skipper uh, now now the skipper canteen at uh, magic kingdom that's awesome and that's this one right here that's that's that going in there yep you want to try that yeah all right let's see what you think here it's good is it good yeah i can the, the name is good yeah it's the spice you can yeah it's got a lot of uh, cinnamon uh cardamom Stuff yeah, like that, uh, a real kind of caramel malt to it, so it uh, it needs a little bit of that backbone there to kind of kind of hold it up. Yeah, I'm gonna try it here. Yeah, uh, we're gonna try it too. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, seriously, that is really good. Yeah, it's very smooth too. There's not even a there's hardly an aftertaste with no, that. No, no it's, it's uh, if you if you if you let it settle, you get a little bit on the. The yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's that's really tasty. Which one was it, Rob? That was the uh, the spiced excursion. Oh yeah. That is really good. I would I would order that seriously. I'm not a beer drinker, but I would order that in a heartbeat. You're doing the reef donkey. Okay. It's so reef donkey is a reef donkey is is an APA. Um, but we really made this style of a, of a session IPA almost. It's, um, it's got a very like like a mango. -y, like. Yeah, yeah. I would say it, it used a lot of uh, of, of southern hemisphere uh, hops, which would give it that like lemon lime tropical. Yeah, very tropical. Yeah. Right. All right, I'm gonna try the Reef Donkey too. So mm. you can smell it. Coming yeah. up there. Yeah, what, that's a citrusy? Coming. You said citrusy. Yeah, citrus yeah, 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 you're, you're gonna have a good bit of. Uh, well, as soon as you bring it up to your face, oh, you can that, that citrus hits oh, you. Le lemon and lemon and lime bitterness. Um, yeah, that was not so much for me. That's that's got more of an aftertaste. <laughs> this one so far, this this spice excursion, this is smooth. Wow, that is uh, that's kind of like candy almost. That's really good. It could be a, right. a real simple half of bison. Uh, a little bit of. Uh, Weak character in the mouth. It's gonna be a little, little heavier feeling in the mouth. A little subtle bit of like banana and clove at the back side, but not a whole lot. Uh, banana heavier, and heavier clove. Wow. Yeah, but it's not gonna seem like it. It's really refreshing. And that's it's the really Floridian. Cool. But it's a. Little... <laughs> I taste the clove. Yeah, you get a little bit of clove and, and banana on the back side there. But it's 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 a really light and refreshing beer. I like the back end better than the front on this one. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's try it. 
Floridian. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do the Floridian now, so. You can taste the cloves in there. Yeah, you can. And there's no clove in it. That's just, that's just, the, that's just the, the, the way the yeast. We can taste a little bit of the banana in there, too. And both of those are just, it's a standard German Hefeweizen style. That's um, really, so I didn't realize that you could actually get these kind of flavors in a beer. This isn't That's bad. I think you're describing it right. The front end is definitely better than the back end here. So no, I like the back end. Though. You like the back end? Yeah. See, the goal is that's a beer you can put outside and just sip on, and it's going to stay light, stay refreshing. See, I don't like the back end on that. So that's all right, though. All right, so the Rick's Red. Try that one. I'm gonna try it first. Am I going first? I guess I'm. Somebody's got to do the guinea pig. It's a real, it's a real simple, basic yeah. amber, amber and red. It, it was, there's, there's nothing. I mean, it's that's it. It's yeah. Enough, it, there, there's the, the goal. The goal is you can take a look at it and just like you could have a, a Bud Light, you can have that. It's the, yep. Rich red. It's, it's good. It's a basic, just a basic, yeah, basic. Multi, it's a basic multi red. It, 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 it's going to give you just that nice kind of caramel. That's not bad. Don't drink all that. Car caramel malt flavor. He's drinking that spice, that spiced excursion. Give that caramel, that caramel malt flavor, real, real simple. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of hops or not a lot of bitterness to it. Just easy to drink, real approachable. This right. is the uh, Elysian Avatar Jasmine IPA. So if you were a big fan of this, you may or may not strike your palate here. Um, it is a a uh, more traditional uh, IPA, good bit of malt, a no. little bit of jasmine kind of throughout the milk. No, I prefer this one to that one. Okay. Uh, so I must like the, the jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's not bad. That's good. So the the right. jasmine in it is really subtle. It, yeah. It's not, it doesn't just like slap you in the face uh, with the you know, perfume or anything like that. But it yeah. gives it. A, a little, a little bit above and beyond just the standard hop. Yeah. Character. What is this called again? Uh, it's uh, Avatar Jasmine IPA from the Legion Brewery. All right. We're gonna try this one. So this is the uh, the Avatar. Well, the fla the flavors are like I know so incredible how they got the flavor profiles in these things. That's for, that's pretty good too. That's not. That's probably third for me, just because the red yeah. didn't offend me at all. So, yeah. <laughs> it just it, it didn't, didn't call you. Didn't again, call I, you I don't go, yeah. and I don't drink, and I don't do like beers and stuff like that. I've, I've never drank more than a, than a Coors Light. But that spiced excursion ale, I might go find that seriously. <laughs> buy some of that for at home. It's really delicious. That's right. So they just schooled me again. I can't go buy the spiced excursion because you have to come to Disney to get it. It's an exclusive. Disney, or the or the brewery itself, but they make it specifically for Disney here. So, um, well, come here and try the spiced excursion. That is fantastic. Which one is this? The Floating Dock Light IPA from Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete. Three Daughters Brewing. This one's a lot like the Rick's Red to me, just a little harder. It's it, the, the 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 hot bitterness in it will come through a little more than than the Rick's will ever be designed to. But the overall body of its design, so it's 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 light, and it's not just light in color. It, it is. On yeah, the that is pretty light. Yeah. The, the hop the hop characteristic of it is pretty pretty prominent. See, that's more of like a Bud Light texture. Correct. Like right. is it, okay. the, 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 the body of it, everything is going to be that much lighter, yeah. refreshing style. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that much about beer, so I, I only can compare it to a couple things. But <laughs> this, this is more of a beer that I would be used to. So, hands down, the spiced excursion is yes. the winner. Yes. I mean that that is fantastic. Uh, oh wow! Thank you. There it is. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. This was delicious. Y'all have that fun. Enjoy that. Thank you. And now you have to clean up the mess. Oh, that's so good. Plastic. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. My pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, that's good. Highly recommended.
looks amazing. El Mercado Lasagna. We have all kinds of new pasta varieties here that they're offering on a daily basis. But I had to go with just classic lasagna. Beautiful classic lasagna, so. We got different options up here. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can't wait to try that. All right, time to dig into this delicious, gorgeous looking lasagna here. And again, El Mercado is the quick service here at Coronado Springs. But I mean, look at that. Is that really something that you find in just any kind of quick service? I mean, that is a, a beautiful looking meal. So I cannot wait to dig into this. We're gonna try this right now. All right, here we go. A lot of good sauce in there. They got the Parmesan cheese on the top. That looks delicious. Mm. What do you think? That's good. It's fresh. That is really good. Now it just looks like, is there meat? It looks like there's meat uh, on top. It doesn't look like it's through the lasagna. It's just the, uh, the cheese through the lasagna. Uh, just a little bit of meat on top, so it's not uh, overwhelming in the meat department. You can kind of see the different layers there. The uh, marinara is really good, though. Different cheeses throughout. Probably some ricotta cheese through there. That's good. That's a that's a really good meal. the breadstick too. Breadstick is a little <laughs> eh, a little to be desired there. It's a little crunchy on the bottom. Might have been in the pan for a little bit, but it still looks good. Mm. It's actually good. It's not really a garlic stick, it's just uh there's a little bit of garlic in there. Maybe like a garlic garlic breadstick. Sauce is fantastic, though. I would definitely recommend it. But they do, they have different pastas now. So they change daily, so you can come here and get different variety of pastas. Sorry, I'm chewing while I'm trying to talk. Just an awesome uh, array of food here, so they really stepped up the uh, as far as the quick service uh, food game here, all over Disney property, but especially at El Mercado. It's one of my favorite places to come eat, and I would definitely recommend it. So for lunch, for dinner, even for breakfast, they were just telling us that they got these new hot sauces. All different kinds of hot sauces. You can put them on your nachos, burgers, even for breakfast, you can put them on your eggs. So just all kinds of different little varieties and options here to make your dining experience that much better so thumbs up El Mercado love it here you guys gotta come check it out Disney's Coronado Springs all right I'm gonna explain all the new dessert options here at uh, Coronado Springs so what do we got so we got uh, the cheesecake over here on the left is that yeah we have a uh, gluten-free cheesecake that's um, some of the new option we have for gluten-free or any allergies uh, we have a uh, lava cake we have chocolate cake uh, strawberry shortcake, uh, chocolate muffin, and uh, gluten-free cookies, chocolate chip cookies. So are these all gluten-free or just the cheesecake and the uh, cookie? All of them are gluten-free. Really? Yeah. Wow. May, some of them may have uh, dairy-free as uh, some option too if you got other allergies. Um, Those look pretty delicious. They, they look, they're pretty good. They're really nice. Um, we got a, uh, this is a new selection we got over here. It's recently, recently new to be honest. Uh, we only used to shop uh, the lava cake and the vanilla, but um, we have this, so we have a uh, very, it's not that big, but we have a couple options if you are a gluten-free person, a gluten-free intolerant. Yeah, I mean, those are great options. Uh, they, look, yeah. they look really good, so. 
everything looks amazing in here. I'm gonna take a walk inside and yeah, sure. see the really gooey stuff. All the delicious options here. I love the desserts here. I've tried this one before, the uh, little specialty cake here that had like a, kind of like a strawberry. Is this like a strawberry or a raspberry? I forget what that was. Strawberry. strawberry cake. So we're gonna try the uh, the Oreo cake here. Looks like they have the yeah, donut. donut selections, the little pineapple turnover thing there, croissants. I've had the cinnamon rolls here before. Those are delicious as well. So yeah, we're gonna try the uh, the Oreo. Sure, you want to try one? Take one. Come on, go for it. Sure, I'll try one. Who, who turns down sweets? I know, I know. How un-American is that? That does look good. Yeah, it does look good. The nitro coffee. Yeah, we tried the nitro coffee. Okay. The nitro coffee was amazing. You want one? No, I can't add a beer and coffee all on the same day. I don't think that's. I'll try the. I'm not. Oh, you haven't tried the nitro? I yeah. All right. We're gonna try the nitro coffee. All right. She can tell you better about the nitro coffee. Okay. She can tell you a story. <laughs> So this is the story. It's basically when it comes out, it comes out at 32 degrees. So when it's blended, it comes up and foams naturally. So it's blended. Yeah, look it's at how it's, uh, it's like magic. Look at that. That's crazy. Isn't that awesome? It's really delicious. It looks like Guinness, but it's not trusty. It's coffee. <laughs> so have you tried, you've never had nitro coffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the first time I ever tried it too. Mm. This is strong. It's got a kick, doesn't it? Yes, does. definitely has a kick to it. That'll wake you up, too. Isn't it yeah. good, though? That is. That is good. Now see the cup here. I know, it opens you your eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> what is that now? If you see the cup here, you can see all the coffee going to the bottom. So and then it just the mixes with it. Yeah, that is really cool. Right. When you take the drink? So it basically makes its own froth without making it like a latte. Huh. It automatically does with the nitro system. It makes it so it's creamier. Consistency. That's interesting. There it is. There's the nitro coffee machine. Who would have thought? Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so you like that one? I do. Yeah, I liked it too when I had it. We can add a little bit of cream. Yeah, it this really is strong. Is. It is I mean, strong. if you're not used to strong coffee, maybe it's way too strong for you. I was, I was wondering if it had, if, if you didn't try that. It's just for the sweet cream oh. that we made. Oh, okay. So, I'll try the cream in it? Yeah. Can I put a little cream in it? Cream inside. The older I get, though, it seems like the more I like darker coffee. Mm -hmm. The less and less. Now that does its thing too, huh? Yeah. It's just fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's fun to watch and it's fun to drink. And look, there's a Mickey head frothed in the top. Look at that. Hidden Mickey. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> you look. Right look, there's a hidden Mickey I right there. You. Yep. Please do not. No. <laughs> I would never. Don't give me any ideas. You're going to have to put hidden Mickeys yeah. in no, all the please. cups now. <laughs> I mean, thank you. <laughs> yeah, now we talking. Better that's with the cream. That's better. I can, I can, it was good the other way. It's a strong. But it was. a little kick, but yeah. if you're not used to, it has a coffee before, so that give it that extra boost of coffee. Yes. And then if you don't drink black coffee, so it's not good. Right. right. That's really good now yeah cool sure well thank you so much all right Welcome. Well, another sold customer to how much stuff today so you got you guys you got all kinds of new beers here new desserts gluten-free desserts the nitro coffee delicious new pasta i'm telling you <laughs> coronado springs is the place to be this is so awesome here amazing food an amazing atmosphere and amazing cast members. Exactly. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, so this is the Oreo cake that they have over at uh, Coronado Springs. What's the What's the name of the dessert place? I don't even. I always forget. <laughs> She's gonna put me on the. Spot. Uh, I cannot remember the the name of the little dessert counter in there, but it's right when you come in, right through the uh, the old lobby. Um, but check it out when you get in there. All the desserts are there. They have some awesome stuff. But I'm gonna try the Oreo one today, and I'm not even sure how to. I didn't even get a fork. 
but you know you got to be messy when you do this stuff but here we go I guess just dive in let's do it somehow yep okay oh look the squirrel even came look at ah he passed you one of you oh, there he is <laughs> squirrel's trying to come and steal my cake here that is really good it's very chocolatey the cake it's nice and fresh i like the uh kind of the creamy whipped frosting it's got the oreo mixed all the way in with it a little dollop of frosting on the top there then the oreo cookie of course on the top as well uh, it's just one good Oreo bite. Tastes like a giant, nice and cool, soft Oreo cookie. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm good to go with that. Another thumbs up. Recommend it. Come get it. Coronado Springs. You'll love it.